Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Gregory. And if you're confused at the name because you know him more as Gris, well, then I would say you haven't completed the Fel Xenolog and I should go ahead and give you your spoiler warning now. So, I'm going to pause right here. Two hours later. Okay, so for those of you who stuck around but still haven't played the Fel Xenolog, first of all, thank you. In today's video, we're going to do a full breakdown and guide for Gregory. We're going to cover his backstory, analyze his strengths and weaknesses at max stats, discuss preferred class options, best skills to inherit, pairing options, and weapons. By the completion of this video, you're going to have a complete understanding of Gregory, if he deserves a spot on your team, and how to best utilize him if you so choose. We've gotten this far. What's a little more pain? I'll protect you, Divine One. We're with you. Let's talk classes. If you're still within the Fel Xenolog, don't be discouraged by the fact that you can't change his class. Yes, you are locked as a sage for now, but you will be able to change it upon the Xenolog's conclusion. Gregory has a lot of great options that could work well. One of my personal favorites is Griffin Knights, because the additional move stat is invaluable to my preferred style. That being said, he could definitely work well as a Mage Knight or Swords Master, and we'll see in a bit that his personal skill could even set him up well as a Thief. I've decided to keep him as a Sage for this video though, to give you a general idea, but you can go ahead and choose any of these classes and still achieve fantastic results. Okay, so going with the decision of Sage, I maxed him out and here's how we're looking. He's got ugh, 43 health, 11 build, 24 strength, 51 magic, 32 dex, 28 speed, 20 defense, 47 resistance, and 32 luck. The key takeaways here are his really great magic stat, but his freaking garbage health and his low defense and speed. Obviously, since these are his max stats as a sage, you'll find different strengths and weaknesses by just going ahead and changing his class. I'm not here to force the Sage class on you by any means. In fact, at some point, I'll probably make him a Griffin Knight myself, but every good team needs a Sage, and Gregory fits the position very well. Obviously, I could find a better Griffin Knight somewhere else, but hard to find a better Sage. Anyway, next we'll talk about his personal skill, and I will use this to back up my alternative class choices for him. His personal skill is called Survival Plan. Basically, when the three block radius of you has more enemies in it than allies, you will get an additional 20 avoid. This skill is best used in classes that allow him to be a frontline dodge tanker. He can't use that skill from the mid to back lines where he would likely keep a sage, and that's why he fits so well with Griffin Knight or Swordsmaster. Thief, maybe not so much as a dodge tanker, but if you have him on a stat bonus tile like a bush, he could have an avoid as high as like 210, which would at the very least be good for a laugh. Now, as a sage, his class skill will be Spell Harmony. This skill allows Gregory to receive an attack equal to the number of adjacent allies that have tomes when he attacks with a tome. Which is frickin' garbage, if I've ever heard of it. Honestly, this is so specific. You're telling me that I have to attack with a tome, and also be around multiple allies with tomes, which is already super unlikely and potentially a dangerous situation, only to find out that I gain what? A maximum of four attack? Are you kidding me? Not a good skill at all in my opinion, but at the very least, for balance in the Outrun Trials, it's good to have a Sage. Even if you don't like the class skill, they're going to prove useful at some point. So. Maybe Gregory can be your guy. Okay, so let's inherit two skills for our man here. The Sage class can be killed very quickly, so my best options are gonna be Cantor Plus and Holdout Plus Plus. Now Cantor Plus is gonna be the go-to inherited skill no matter the class, right? This skill has absolutely saved me, not only with every class in the game, but with every freaking character in this game. As for Holdout Plus Plus, Similar to Cantor Plus, it's a skill that I find extremely useful on basically every character, especially in the Outrealm Trials. But 
when I can be killed in what, one to two hits by enemies with a weak class like this, then you bet I need it even more. All right, let's talk inventory. I'm gonna bring three tomes, Nova plus five for the double hits, Thorn plus five for the ranged attacks, and Bulganon plus five, hope I said that right, to max out that damage. As a staff user, we need to make the best use of this that we possibly can. I'm gonna give him Fortify, because obviously we need to be healing all of the units we can, and Rescue, which I feel is a pretty underrated staff. I mean, this staff has saved me a ton in my Madden runs. Clearly, Gregory is not a tanker in this class, but with magic this high, he can one-hit low-res units like Generals, and that's actually quite useful when mixed with his ability to heal, rearrange, and rescue allied units. Look, I know I'm not selling Sages at all in this video, but that's my sales pitch right there. The Sage class has important utility for your team. Now, who should we pair him with? Hmm. I had a couple good options in my head that I decided to go ahead and max out. These were Roy and Byleth. In the end, though, my choice was Byleth. When paired with Byleth, Gregory gets Thyrosus. I'm going to go with that. Byleth wields it to give Gregory two extra blocks for all of his magic tome attacks and has the additional bonus of blocking 50% of the damage on some attacks against him. That is pretty solid, right? The thing is, they have to be engaged for this to work. Obviously, on top of this, Byleth is always just kind of OP for being able to dance and bring four units back to playable during your phase. So all in all, this pairing stood out as the best option for me. All right, there you have it. Now, we've discussed Gregory in detail. You know his strengths, his weaknesses, and how to maximize his utility. But the real question is whether or not you want him on your team. Please, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you'd like to see Gregory maxed out in another class, please, once again, you just gotta let me know. I'm always happiest when I'm making content that I know you guys are curious about. Anyway, that's all for now. Check the description for my OutRealms ID and let's play some Engage. See you in the next one. Peace.